We're going to start training in 2012 here in the Stovall Jet. We hope to be flying here in the next few months, uh, uh, conducting uh, what we call maturity flying, uh, exercise in the airplane, and, uh, and then we'll uh, start training actual students uh, sometime in the late summer, uh, early fall of, of 2012. Once we start flying, uh, you know, our, what we call our battle rhythm, our normal daily routine uh, is, is going to significantly change. Just being able to come out and look at the airplane, uh, touch it and uh, admire it, you know, sit in it, it's going to be a huge morale improvement around here. So the engine start was really, really clean, one of the cleanest I've seen, which is I think is good news for the overall maturity of the airplane. So because the airplane started up so quick and it had any problems getting out of the line, it was almost flawless uh, as far as execution, and that takes a, a bit of luck. And then uh, the flight here was uh, not a cloud in the sky, really. Um, came right into Eglin. Once we landed, it's simple. Um, ran a VS bit, and uh, everything passed. Taxi in the line and shut down. It was just, uh, again, the, the startup and shutdown of the airplane was very, very clean and fast. We could easily fill this airplane full of gas and fly it this afternoon. The F-35 is going to bring expeditionary capability plus another generation of lethality and survivability out there. Uh, so uh, the Marine Corps needs this jet uh, and, uh, and it needs it now. So uh, the timing couldn't be better uh, bringing in these uh, two airplanes today and um, it's a big moment for Marine Aviation.